Hello. Oh, I got a question for y'all. I just put about a tablespoon of olive oil into my Dutch oven. And uh, the question is, are y'all starting to feel a little nip in the air? No, well, me either. <laughs> but I know it's coming, y'all. I know it's coming. So uh, in my newest magazine, we are featuring some uh, recipes that really will stick to your ribs and give you that satisfying feeling when the weather gets a nip in the air. So I'm going to be making a butter, uh, butternut squash and black bean chili. So I'm going to start by sauteing my onion and my garlic. And I'm going to just cook this for a couple of minutes. Love to hear that sizzle and the smell of onions and garlic in my kitchen. Two of my favorite odors. Now I'm gonna add my my squash, and this is this is such a delicious squash. I know Jamie makes a butternut squash salad. And it is so good. Have y'all ever had his? I have. It's so good. All right. And I'm sure Jamie's busy hustling down there at the chicken box he this morning. Salad out for that. Yeah. Especially for the ball. All right. So I'm going to let that cook for about three minutes. Okie doke. Now we're going to add our tomatoes with chili, green chilies in it. Give that a stir. All right, so here we go with our seasonings. I'm going to start with our garlic powder. Our onion powder. Our cumin. Our paprika. our chili powder, and last but not least, our salt. So I want to stir all this together, make sure all those different flavors work its way into every piece of the butternut squash. Now we're going to top it with our vegetable broth. If you don't have a vegetable broth or don't want to make a vegetable broth, you can always use a beef broth. Or I guess you could even use a chicken broth. But the vegetable broth is going to is going to pull out the flavors of all of our vegetables. Now I'm going to cover this and let it cook for 15 or 20 minutes, and then I'm going to add our black beans, and we're going to continue to cook it until our uh, butternut squash is nice and tender. Okay, our squash is nice and tender, and now I'm going to add our black beans. And, uh, you know, our black beans are, are canned, and so they're already cooked. But... We want to give it an opportunity to soak up all of that wonderful stock with the herbs in it. So maybe 10 or 15 minutes and we'll be ready to serve. My nose is already running <laughs> because um, we got the, both kind of heats. We've got the spicy heat and we've got the heat hot, hot heat <laughs> from coming out of the pot. Mm. It's delicious. Michael is going to love this because it does have some bite to it. Mm.
And I think this definitely calls for some cornbread. <laughs> <laughs> so, if y'all are afraid of spice, you can back down on some of the heat. Uh, you know, because like the Rotel tomatoes, they're hot. <laughs> and make sure when you serve this, you serve it with some tissues. <laughs> But it's mighty tasty. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And the sour cream kind of cuts the heat of it. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> Love and best dishes, everybody. I hope y'all have a great day. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.